what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video so ios 26.2 is out and this is going to be the biggest update of this year it is going to be the biggest update why because it is going to fix a lot of bugs and also going to bring a lot of features so 26.2 is out if you want to install this update simply get to your settings and you can install the update from software update now if you ask me should you install this update yes definitely go and install this update right away because it is going to bring really cool features plus a lot of bug fixes now let's discuss what is due with the ios 46.2 now starting with the very first thing i will be talking about the feature so i will get over here and the noticeable feature if i go over here and edit my lock screen get into customize now by tapping on the clock i will have a slider on the bottom now basically what this slider do is you can change the liquid glass of your clock as you can see now it feels more tinted or maybe more frosted actually not tinted frosted as you can see and if i go all the way down it feels completely liquid so this is something available you can do if you want to i'm going to keep it something like here this is what i personally prefer but here a small little change that is available for the lock screen there are definitely more features um let's get into the apple podcast so now in the apple podcast if there is a creator who didn't created any sort of chapters now uh, apple podcast will create chapters automatically for a specific podcast that is a really cool thing for example if i play this um i don't know playing this um pod podcast episode it will create chapters automatically i'm going to switch between the chapters that is also a very you know a useful thing if you listen podcast by the way which is your favorite podcast application let me know in the comment section below i actually keep switching now another change is definitely the bouncy animation and those animations are everywhere like for example if i go and just look at how bouncy it comes like a really cool animation a very bouncy animation and also with a more liquid glass effect just like this animation bouncy effect is pretty much everywhere in the iOS with the iOS 26.2 this is another change that is available another noticeable change and actually my favorite feature of this update is when you go to apple reminders if you use apple reminders and you create a new you know reminder or something like that now there's option of urgent and this is actually really cool so when the urgent is on and when the time come of that specific reminder it will act as an alarm this is a really useful it will give you alarm for that specific reminder and it is honestly it is going to be very useful and it is going to definitely make you productive um this is easily one of the coolest feature for me uh, in the hours 26.2 also now the health score is improved a bit so if you are into health scores things like that for example it wasn't a decent yesterday night for me by the way health score is pretty much improved um if you go over here now if your score are pretty high it will say very high high okay low very low that excellent and etc is gone over here and these are the it is like bit approved and i like the small little change quite quite useful and when you are into your journal go over here into the airdrop you will see a new option over here and this is manage noun airdrop context basically if you want to airdrop anything to anyone that is not in your contact you can airdrop using one time code you can share that code and that specific contact will be saved here and it will be here for 30 days so it is also a really cool feature yeah. what's up guys available with the 26.2 and live translation expands to eu with airport for active noise cancellation airports pro 2 and also airports pro 3 also apple music lyrics are available offline no unfortunately i cannot show you apple music because i don't have that I what's have. up guys what if I? anyways so these are some of the noticeable changes that are coming to the ios 26.2 are out with the ios 26.2 best part the bugs are fixed now we all know 26.1 bring a really bad bug 
like when we are on the widget screen and we go to the home screen it lags badly when i go to the home screen it lags badly but now it is not lagging at all as you can see it is literally buttery smooth which is another thing which is a quite useful thing and it is slight lag here but it's pretty much much better much smoother and things are very nice with the 26.2 and that's all about the bug fixes and if i talk about the battery life battery life is also actually decent so if i go to the battery life section over here share like i'm using i was 26.2 for a while now you know beta zrc all that like over here if i go over here i use 97 percent of my device as you can see and i got 8 hours and 24 minutes screen on time which is insane i use applications like tiktok instagram youtube facebook so yeah that's another cool and you know 73 percent use it six hour plus screen on time so yeah battery life is good battery life is improved and um i'm not facing battery anymore or anything like that so i'm happy with the battery life now, if I talk about the performance, that I also talk about that it's quite smooth. I want to share some Geekbench score. And if I show you the Geekbench score over here, I got really good scores like 3461 on a single core, 8809 on a multi core. These are one of the best scores. I also got, in fact, the highest ever score on a single core, also on a multi core, which is way higher than the average one. As you can see, this is the highest ever score. So, yeah, I'm very happy with it. And if I show you the GPU metal score, because yeah, that is something that also matters for some people. And if I share that, I also get got a really decent GPU metal score at its only 7903. So yeah, if I see this, things are really nice. And it feels that Apple is now working to improve the iOS and it feels like it is settling down um with this update. So yeah, it's a really big update. There are new features. There are bug fixes, a good battery life, decent battery life, and a better performance with amazing Geekbench score. So yeah, this was all from this video. Also, want to thank you guys. Like in my um, like I was not active for so many days. I you know talk about that in my one of the previous videos that I was not feeling well, and you guys actually gave me a lot of comments and you know wishing me well and all that stuff. I really, really want to thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, back. I'm feeling well, and I'm definitely gonna focus, um, on this channel. Definitely for looking forward for the 2026. I was 27 and more stuff to come. Definitely. Well, this is all from this short and simple video. Just wanted to share what is new with the iOS 26.2 and how things are going on so far. Well, this is all from this video. I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until that, take care. Peace out.